hi guys welcome to another uh, vlog a studio vlog uh, this is well it's been a while <laughs> for a start uh, I've been developing a couple things some of them I hope I can show you in the future um, others I can already show you um, unfortunately I forgot to record the process but well I can show you the, the um, my um, I don't know head process can you call it like that <laughs> uh, and and show you the final product um, since the last time that I did um, a studio vlog I actually launched the 2018 2019 um, planner collection it's a it's a short collection but um, I actually have to do um, a blog post about them and maybe when I'm writing the blog post I can actually uh, speak a little bit more about it um, yeah my last my last vlog was in Portuguese but I think I'm gonna stick with English for this vlog I think it makes more sense at least in my head so <laughs> that's probably what I will do uh, yesterday I I had a really big brainstorm day and I'm very excited because I might be develop developing two things um, from scratch that I really want to launch like next month so it's gonna be a really a hard work uh, if I if I really want to make them um, but I think I'm gonna start to record it and throughout the time I'm, I'm gonna show it or I don't know maybe have a vlog only about it I'll have to think about it anyway I have been working also in uh, drawing a, a drawing project uh, some of I record some videos, some illustration process here in the in the channel. Um, so I dedicated my month of August. No, actually, it was not August. It was in July. Noisy neighbors. Uh, in July, I draw a squirrel per day. Um, it's actually a, a, a character. Um, his name is Shabby. He's a uh, is a quirky squirrel. Uh, he is a, is a character that I created, and um, it's him and his adventures, his hobbies, the things that he likes to do. I haven't developed very much in like story storytelling or um, have more characters, but in the future I want to add more characters to this sort of ongoing story. But I did uh, 31, actually I think there were 32 drawings, but I discarded one of them um, in pencil. And throughout August I started to color these uh, drawings uh, with uh, Photoshop. And um, some of the videos I actually, uh, some of the videos, some of the illustrations I was able to record um, I remind myself to record <laughs> and uh, and I publish a few of them. Uh, I haven't finished doing the whole 31 because I want to use these illustrations for um, at least a calendar, a uh, 2019 calendar, uh, because it's a sort of tradition um, on notes for paper in having a squirrel calendar um, almost since the beginning of the brand but for the past years the illustrations have been the same so I really wanted to pick 12 of the illustrations of the 31 that I, that I will be doing or will be finishing and uh, from those I will have a calendar I also want to probably have a planner or more than a planner uh, with also with those illustrations and I I've also did a few tests um, print tests so I can see the colors because I made um, a new <laughs> mistake um, I don't do at least until recently I didn't do my digital art on Photoshop I you would, you would 
usually use Illustrator and Illustrator works with SMIC and uh, it works with vectors and with uh, Photoshop I'm working with images and with RGB uh, because I forgot to put it on SMIC. So when I want to print uh, things may, might go wrong because RGB uh, it's uh, proper for screen and not exactly proper for print. Uh, for print it's SMIC. So that uh, might be something that I need to work <laughs> around it or at least tra try to trans transform my illustrations into SMIC. So I did a test on a paper with two, two kind of papers uh, on my local printer and um, they're okay. Actually, the colors weren't that bad, but I believe if I transform, in, transform them into SMIC, uh, they there will be more uh, vibrant. And yeah, if I have photos, I will insert a couple photos here of the postcards that I've tried to print to see the colors and to see the paper. And uh, what more did I do? Well, I still have to finish those. I've also start to th started to think about uh, Inktober. Inktober is um, it's like a drawing challenge during the month of October. And you're supposed to use uh, pretty much only ink. Uh, last year was a, a little bit of um issue with some people because um, there were rumors or I don't know if it was actually the, the maker of this challenge that started to say it was this was only for traditional media you couldn't use um, like other mediums for example like using Photoshop for inking so yeah, I think the whole purpose of Inktober it's for you to ink in paper, but there's a lot of people that actually don't use black ink, although traditionally it is the black ink that is supposed to be used. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of the inking part. <laughs> I I want to go for black ink. Or uh, maybe be a little bit more um, radical <laughs> and use my eco lines, which are uh, liquid watercolors, but use them as um, as it was ink, because I also I also have inks, a few inks in colors, but either I had to use a pen nib or a brush and I'm not very comfortable with that and that's not my point with my Inktober. With my Inktober this year I I already developed the themes that I want to draw. I want to go back to one thing that I did in 2016. In 2016 I did um, I did a mixture of Inktober with another challenge that I don't recall the name right now, but the characters that I was drawing uh, were a lot of horror related. Um, and there were, in, instead of really horrific or horror characters, I done very, some of them had a very comic uh, feel about, about them or very cartoony. Um, which I really enjoyed. It actually was a really good challenge for me in 2016. Last year, um, I actually the the, um, the squirrels that I drawing and finishing this year, that was my team for last year in October. I did pretty much all the pencils for the. For, they were not even sketches. They were like um, thumbnails. I did almost the 31 thumbnails. Um, I have pretty much everything thought out, but I was not able to do it for pff, many reasons <laughs> that don't matter now. Um, but I, I actually carried on with that project for later, which it's 
always valid. Um, this year, as I was saying, I'm gonna use the um, Inktober prompt uh, mixed with um, characters or other prompts that I um, chose from previous lists. I've also asked help on my Instagram uh, from characters from creepy movies, creepy um, books, whatever people could think about. And I had a, I have a few nice things. Um, I can actually show it. I don't know if you can actually see everything. Maybe if you pause, you can <laughs> read them all. So these will be my prompt. And I already started to do some rough sketching. Well, some of them are not so rough <laughs> like that. Some of them, I think they're gonna be the, you know, the base for the illustrations that I'll, I will be making. Um, this is actually uh, good for me to do um, beforehand and I will try to do my Inktober uh, a little bit beforehand um, because I feel it's less stressful this way. And I have a few sketches uh, and um, I will probably use some I will transfer these drawings for uh, other paper because um, in 2016 I used uh, a sketchbook. Uh, actually, I think it was it, it was like almost a notebook because it was sewn. Um, it was not like um, it, it was not like this. It was because it was not a hard cover. It was a soft cover um, sketchbook. And I really love the paper, and I really love the results, but um, I'm thinking that maybe this time I shall do it in loose paper, because this way if I wanted to, if I'm really pleased with the end result, I can sell the originals, um, and it will also be easier to... If I run, if I want to add color or change a few things uh, with the digital process, it will be easy to to digitize. How do you say it? Whatever. It will be easy to to uh, either take a photo or uh, use a scanner to scan the illustration. So yeah, so it's something that I've learned. <laughs> in the past, although I really uh, like to sometimes use sketchbooks, but sometimes they're not very handy for other things. Anyway, um, I think for now it's it's gonna be just this. Um, it's actually gonna be a quite long one, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna publish this and maybe later um, add more things. Um, I don't know, I still, I'm still working how I want these vlogs to be because I don't think it's just fun for me to, for other people to watch just me talking to the camera <laughs> I think it's gonna be a little bit more interesting if you can see me work on things I hopefully will be able to insert some of the things that I talk um, yeah, and, and maybe I think I'm gonna might do just a video of my planners, uh, the planners that I created for this year. I'll actually have to print them again um, because I sold a couple of them, so that's a good thing. <laughs> and yeah, uh, next I'll be working on the 2019 planners, which are a little bit behind. Uh, of course, the calendars and uh, two other things that I... One of them is going to be um, uh, an undated planner, but I want it to be like a fully illustrated uh, planner. I'm also working on something that it's very exciting, actually. Um, it's going to be like... Um, something for book nerds like me <laughs> so uh, but it's not gonna be a planner but most likely a place for people to write things about books 
and uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be it for now, and I'll see you guys later.